Like you got like puffy eyelid. Is it still there? Oh yeah, it's still there. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. Um, I'm like down to my last pair of fake eyelashes, and I think it caused me an eye infection last week because they're full of glue. But I ordered some, and I'm still waiting for them. You know, when I came home from my errands this morning, I saw so much stuff here, like rollerblades and all this stuff, like all over the floor. It's actually half of it's gone, but I was wondering what that was all about. That's because here we used to have this giant recycling thing for all the recycling. We have a new thing here. We do compost, we do trash recycling. They make us do a lot of things to see. So we need to have a recycling bin in our kitchen and I hate it, it's an eyesore. So I put it here. It's in here now. Okay, so there's a However, recycling bin, okay. This, this thing here, was filled up with ski rollerblade. I didn't know we had seven pair of rollerblade. I don't know who, I'm the only one rollerblading. So I don't know what happened, but we have seven pair of rollerblade. We have two pair of skis. We have boots. We have like, so I'm bringing everything down there now. Today, my goal was to find a place to put my recycling. I thought maybe under the sink. I reevaluated my choice. Then we came down to that position. That was my big challenge today. This is pure pandemic boredness, I'm telling you. I'm on my sweat. That's all I do all day. We are kind of turning around was, in circles in this house. I was shopping for trees earlier on Amazon. For real, I was shopping for trees because I think we need trees in this house. That's, it's not, I think it's affecting me. <laughs> so what else happened? So I went to the store this morning, did my little errands, went down to Montreal. I got my wipers fixed on my car. Yes, they were messed up for so long, like for so many years. They were kind of inverted and just, Horrible. Like if you wipe stuff, it only wipe like half the window. So like if you were driving and it was like super muddy or something or super snowy, you could only like look, you know, on half the, it was so dangerous. I shouldn't even be admitting that. So Mimi is sick. She has a fever. Oh, she actually has a fever. She's not in school today. And I called the school earlier and they said I had a call to see what, like the call the city to see what to do. They have all these protocols now. So if she has a fever, we have to get her tested for COVID. She's not allowed to go to school until she gets a negative result. That's what it is right now. We have a appointment to get a COVID test. You know what's going on here? There is like, I was reading a newspaper earlier. There's a major thing with kids that uh, because of the pandemic, they're stuck at home. So a lot of teenagers are having bad, bad, bad issues. Uh, some of them are eating too much. Some of them stop eating like depressive. Uh, they feel like their life has stopped. So we're watching, ma'am, to make sure things good, but you should do the same at home because this pandemic is rude. It's, it's a rough one, not just on physic, but psychologically. Yeah, right? like it's hard on us. Like, dude, it's hard on us. Could you imagine? I didn't really realize how hard it was on the kids, but yeah, it it's, is. it's pretty crazy. bad. It's all over the news. Like, I, I don't know where you live if you have issues with this, but here in Quebec, they've actually kept the school open. So fortunately, they were able to go to school, but it's just not the same anymore. And they don't have that social contact that I guess as human, we kind of need yeah, absolutely. more than we thought. Maybe. So teen depression is huge yeah. it's really huge here and especially when some weeks they have to go virtual schooling because like there's cases in their school whatever so nothing is really stable and we could just kind of have like a wake-up call this week to be like holy crap this is really hard on our and we didn't mm. really realize it until recently so um, so we have a plan for that so. yeah so we are we are spending we are. more time like quality time with our yeah. kids especially emily because she's she's older mm. And then also we are planning to do maybe a little road trip with an hotel involved. Because I realized over the years that the kid, they didn't care so much where the destination was, but they always get so excited <laughs> about the hotel. We could go in Florida, we could go in Hollywood, we can go anywhere. It doesn't matter if we go to the hotel, it's like it makes a whole trip. Yeah, so, so we're planning on like going somewhere in Quebec uh, and then we're gonna get that, well, as long as Mimi's not sick, we're gonna get true. an hotel room. Yeah. And we're just going to spend the night in a hotel. They're going to have fun eating chips, watching TV. Yeah. And I think it'll make like... Yeah, that's going to be really fun. So, but first we got to make sure we all have negative COVID sure. results. When that's done, then we're going to do something fun for the kids. We're also going to be spending more time with our kids. I mean, we do already, but like... Like get them no, off the No, I think the difference, is, you know? the difference here is the one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. That's the big difference is like mm -hmm. they're saying that these kids needs to have time one-on-one -on -one, and that's the most important part of all of this because if they're left alone and they don't have that social contact anymore that they usually get the love from their friends and, and people around them and now they don't because they're home mostly. So if you have like three or four kids, yeah, you know, it's spread the love it's like, and it's not the same. So spend time one-on-one, -on -one, it's the most important for thing. For sure, because it's so easy to let your kids go on TikTok for like hours and it's just not good. So 
Okay, that's it for now. I'm going to go do something. I don't know what, and then we're going to check back with you later. All right, so I have one idea for the kids just to get them off their devices and just find something to do. I'm going to go on the Michael's uh, website and order stuff. Here, you can still do curbside pickup at Michael's. Thank goodness, because most of the stores are closed. You can't even do that. So I'm going to order some activities, and then we can do it this weekend if we have to stay home this weekend and we can't go anywhere. Candles, my candles. Oh, it's hard to make them smell good, though. We need candle. Can you look for candle? I need candle. I need candle. The whole thing, the whole trend right now is having candle made out of soy for some reason. Dude, my, my look at my this. I'm like, <laughs> this. I'm like, this. <laughs> but that would be weird if you were like. So what's the whole trend right now? Every every candle I see online, they're made out of soy. I don't know why they're made out of soy. And they're very expensive. Can can a candle be gluten free? <laughs> Dude, my eyelashes are super bothering me. I'm for sure. Take them out. Take them off. Take them off. Take them off. No, but they make me have this like. I like this like. I like them. Yeah, they're gonna make you lose your eyes. <laughs> But I like them. I like the way they make me feel. I call it styrusty. There's like a, a thing in my eyelid. What does it have to do with the eyelash though? I don't get it. I just looked online and I, it looked like it causes like... Because now it's like puffy. It's like you got like a puffy eyelid. Is it still there? Oh yeah, it's still there. Okay. All right. So I'm going to keep looking online to see what I'm going to get. And I'll show you after I pick up the stuff and I'll show you what I bought. I can't. Okay, so this really sucks. Everything that I'm choosing at the Michaels website is not available, out of order, can't be shipped, can't pick up. Actually, there's not one thing that I chose that's available right now. This is like not working out. I have had the worst luck with online shopping this whole week. Mimi had this like gift card from Christmas and she was like, okay, so let's spend it online. So I went to buy everything. Well, what happened was they ended up charging my entire credit card. And Instead of taking a gift card. Exactly. Yeah. And when I told them, they're like, oh, well, too bad. I'm like, I get it. I get that online shopping is really convenient for like everybody. I'm so like maybe old school. I really like to go to the store and just pick it up myself in my hands and pay for it. But anyway, times have changed, right? So, so, so far, 30 minutes into buying stuff for like art supplies or whatever crafts and I've had no luck yet. We'll but check good it. news, I might have found the candle that I'm looking for. It's called Pineapple Evergreen. It's six ounces for $23 and I get it tomorrow. So we're gonna let you know how it smells in the basket, in the cart, order, coming into my house this weekend, smelling good home. Comment below on what is, what is it like? I'm so curious, like what are other people's lockdowns like? Are you, do you have to stay at home all day? Like, All right, I have to go to work because we do have a business, so I'm gonna take off and we'll yeah, see we'll you see. later. We'll no, see. she's looking at plush. <laughs> I know, Little I'm bear. puzzled. I'm at the point of looking at puzzles now. <laughs> all right guys, love you, see you later. All right guys, so it's been a whole day and the kids are back home. Grace is doing what seems to be an activity. Yeah, so we ended up not having to buy anything online because we are just using paper that we have and YouTube tutorials. You're doing origami? Yeah. So you don't need to buy anything? No. So we're like, okay, yeah, we're gonna do that. We're not gonna buy like a $24 kit to like made children fish. So see, he doesn't wanna giraffes. do like animals. He wants to do daggers, swords. There's gonna be a dagger. And plus there's like the thing to like cover it. Can you show them what happened to you? Come Show what happened to you. We don't know what this is. It started yesterday here, right? Like two days ago, right? And then, and then this one's dry. And this morning, today, she has another one right here. And we have no idea what that can be. So we're gonna have it look tomorrow. When are you going to the clinic? I have an appointment at 12.45. So tomorrow? Yeah, 12. Tomorrow. So tomorrow, we're gonna go to the clinic. Why are you scared? Why are you scared, baby girl? Well, because we went for your for your rock and your elbow, right? And since then you're really scared. Is that it? They're not gonna do that to you. It's just gonna be cream or maybe a little medicine. Are you sure it's not a needle? No, they're not gonna put a needle for that. This is just a skin rash. They're not doing put a needle for that. No, mm -hmm. we don't really know what it is. Where uh, everything's happening today. Mim got sick, so she's gonna go to school today. They went to the clinic. They got her COVID test today. We're gonna get a result in two days. Hey, so guys. here's a sick girl that's not too sick right now. So what happened? You My head, I still have a little headache, but... I know, but you can't burp like this okay, on camera. I'm not, I don't feel sick, but like my head hurts, I have a little headache, but that's it. I feel great. So you think you're gonna be okay for tomorrow, maybe? Yeah, yeah if you wanna go outside and do activities? Yeah. Yeah. They said that you were okay, right? You sure they said that? Yeah. They said you can't go out if you have no fever. That's what the paper says. Paper said if I don't have fever or anything, I can go out until I have the test results. And if it's positive, I have to stay in. And if it's not, if it's negative, I can go out. Oh, that's good. Because you don't look sick right now anymore. I sound like good. I have my 
weapon now. It is all made out of paper. Look, it's this is the little slide thing. And then look. This is it's can... all made out of paper, yeah. like origami. All yeah. folded. Yeah, but I used a bit of scissors and some tape. I mean, some glue. And uh, you can do like this. No, you guys are okay. Even Mimi, I think she's fine. They, they told us that Mimi could go out as long as she doesn't have fever, which she doesn't now. She had slight fever this morning, slight fever this afternoon. Tylenol went away. But we had her tested anyway, just to make sure that she's not having the COVID. I'm going to get a result in two days. So she's resting right now. And uh, so far, she's the only one with symptoms. So we should be all right. All right, guys. So thanks for being there. We love you. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. And don't forget, never give up. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we wish.